Uh, in this video we're going to look at one of the uh, new features in Excel 2013 um, called Flash Fill. I think you might find some of these uh, features actually quite useful. Um, what we're going to do first of all is going to use Flash Fill uh, with this list. Now what we want to be able to do is create a uh, column in this table that combines both the first name and the surname. Now, uh, you could always do that in previous versions of Excel. Uh, you'd have had to do a little bit of concatenation with a, with a formula. Now it's a lot easier. You can just use Flash Fill to do the same thing. So let me just show you how this might work. If I just write uh, Robert Smith um, and uh, just confirm that, I'm confirming that with Control-Enter, and then I do Control-E, you can see what it does. It sees the pattern in what I wrote, so first name, space, last name, and it's repeated that pattern uh, throughout the column. Now another way I could do that is if I type Robert Smith um, and then come down to the next cell and type Kate, uh, or begin to type Kate, you can see that it's automatically recognized that I probably want to repeat that pattern, so all I have to do is press enter and uh, it's done the same thing. So you can either confirm your first entry and then press Control e to fill down for the rest of the column or go down to the next entry, start writing and it will automatically do the same thing. Now I could also reverse the order of the names. Um, so if I type Smith, comma, um, Robert um, and then to Control enter Control e uh, you can see it's done the same thing. This time it's I've added a comma in. You can do that as well. You can kind of sandwich characters between uh, the two fields that you've got. That's absolutely fine. Another thing I might want to do is say, well, maybe I want the surname or the last name uh, to be in capital. So I'll put a comma in as well. Let's see if that works. So I'll confirm that. Control A. Yeah, done exactly the same thing. Maybe I only want the initial, so I could say Smith, uh, comma, uh, R, uh, control E, no, control enter, control E, uh, does the same thing, that's worked quite nicely. So, as I said before, you, we could have done this before with some form of concatenation. Um, but now with Flash Fill, it makes the whole thing a lot easier. The only downside is is if I was to change that to um, another uh, name, uh, then obviously none of this updates because these are actual values, they're not formulas. Whereas if we'd have used a concatenation uh, formula, these would have automatically updated. So that's the only downside. Now let's do things the other way around now. This is uh, a really common problem that you get where you've got uh, both first name and surname within one cell and you actually want to split them out. Um, now there is a feature called uh, text to columns which you can use uh, which would do that job for you. That has always been there. Um, but you can do the same thing using flash fill and that's what we're going to try here. So what I'm going to do is type Robert there. Uh, control enter, control E and it's just picked out the first name. So it's worked out that I've basically uh, want all the characters up to the space. And then if I write Smith, uh, Control Enter, Control E, it's done the same type of thing. So all the characters after the space, look for the delimiter as such. Um, I could also do it with an initial. Um, so for example, if I was looking for um, R, B, uh, R, S, control enter, control E, there we are, it's picked out the initials as well. So that may be really useful. Now on to dates. So I've got some dates here. Um, if I wanted to uh, extract the year, that would be really easy. Um, it's going to recognize the pattern. It's pulled out the year. Um, the month. if it does that. It's done that fine. And the day. Now this gets slightly trickier. Now if I just put in 05, 
Now that's actually slight cheating because I've already formatted this cell as text, but um, it would normally be uh, general. Let me just delete that. So if I typed um, 05 in there, then it comes out as a 5. Now if I was to control E that, it's not going to cope because what it's done is picked out the last character in the number. So that doesn't work quite as well. But the way around that would be to format the um, cell as a text cell. Then I can write in 05 and then control E comes down and picks it all up. Now I could mix this up. Um, I could, for example, say I want 2010, um, comma, then the month. Um, then I want the um, the number. It's done that format. I'm not saying that's a format you might uh, want to employ with a date, but it just shows you that you can add characters, mix up the order of the uh, values, etc., etc., and it will do it for you. Now, with numbers, uh, what we're going to do here, you may have, you might want to create kind of a, a new product code, incorporating a line and a product code. So let's mix it up. Let's do um, 20246. Uh, AS. That's done that quite nicely for us. Let's try something else. Let's try um, 20246-AS. That's worked quite nicely for us well, as well. And maybe I want to prefix it. So um, I'll get rid of these first the issue. So let's say I want um, MGM 20246-AS. And that seems to have worked as well. Sometimes it doesn't work and you maybe have to type it in again in the next cell and it kind of picks up what you're trying to get at. Uh, but you can see with flash fill it's pretty good at either concatenating data, joining data together, splitting data into separate cells, um, extracting pieces of information from your data, say with dates, and also prefixing or suffixing data, uh, adding extra characters uh, with ex within existing data. Um, really useful feature. Uh, probably the most common one will be where you want to split names out. Uh, I've seen that again and again. I used to better do that with um, your text to columns, but now it's just made been made it, uh, slightly easier. Please remember, though, that these are values; they're not formulas, so they're not linked to the original.